Hi everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. The baby isn't with me today. He actually fell asleep for a little nap before I filmed this video. So um, I'm hoping that I can film this video really quick while he's still taking his nap. If you see me glancing over there, it's because um, the little baby monitor screen is right there. And um, I'm just, you know, looking over it to check if he's all right. So yeah, in today's video, I'm doing my six month wish list update. I do this pretty much every year to kind of reflect on the things that I bought for my wish list at the beginning of the year and the things that I haven't, how my wish list has changed and everything like that. Um, I actually didn't even have that much on my wish list this year, so um, I obviously haven't bought that many things either, but I also did kind of um, remove and add some things as well, so I will talk all about that. So I will let you guys know what has changed. First, let's talk about the things that I have bought on my wish list. The first thing is this Chanel heart bag. So I mentioned in that video that I wasn't sure if I was going to buy it because I wasn't sure about the color and um, I also mentioned that I think I wanted to buy the small size well I ended up buying it anyway and I got the largest size I was saying in that video that um, I want the smaller size because that would be cuter but actually um, I didn't realize like how small each size was so even the large size I feel like is a little bit small um, it's not too bad I actually do really like the size but I thought it was gonna be larger so I ended up buying this one from my essay in Vegas if you guys don't know the heart bag saga already, please go check it out on my channel. It's just such a long story, but yes, it's fixed now and I'm able to use it. I haven't used it yet, I'll be honest, since I fixed it because I'm a little bit weary still, but I do plan on wearing this out um, maybe this weekend or next, so we shall see how that goes. But yeah, I finally ended up getting this. I was actually um, contemplating, I kind of like the other versions like I really like the gold one I like the white one I even like the black one so I wasn't sure if I was going to go for this pink color because it is bright it's way brighter than anything in my collection and initially when I unboxed it I was shocked to see how like bright the color was but after I tried it on with a few outfits I actually really do love the color especially now that it's summer I think it looks really great with like spring and summer dresses with floral outfits so yeah I ended up liking it and keeping it and despite all of that drama that I had with the heart bag earlier um this is definitely one of the bags that I'm glad to have in my collection this is probably also one of the last Chanel bags I'm probably ever gonna buy I'm just um not a huge fan of Chanel bags right now so this might be it <laughs> but we shall see all right, so I had a couple more bags on my wish list this year. So I think I had like a couple more bags on my wish list this year. Obviously, the Hermes Birkin um, was on my wish list, and we already special ordered it last year, so it should still be coming. Um, my essay says that there are delays um, because of like supply chain or whatever, COVID, I don't know. Um, so there are some delays, so it has been past six months i believe so yeah i'm not sure when we're getting it but he says it's still coming so that is still on my wish list until i physically have it in my hands if you guys don't know the story about how i custom ordered my birkin from hermes um i will link that video down below but yes yeah, still waiting on that so it's still technically on my wish list and then the last bag that i had on my wish list at the beginning of the year is the chanel 19 bag they came out with the most perfect chanel 19 bag ever um i'll insert a picture i think it was from the spring collection or it might have it actually might be from the most recent collection i'm not sure it's literally the most perfect baby pink color it's also got gold hardware and i still love the bag but like i said i'm kind of over chanel i just don't really see me buying brand new in store with the quality issues that everybody's been you know, experiencing. So I think that if I ever do get the Chanel 19 bag, which I still really like, I'm going to try to buy it pre-loved if I can um, for a cheaper price, even though Chanel bags now really don't go for cheaper prices, especially if they're brand new and not like vintage or anything. So yeah, I'm not sure about that. Actually, I do want to put something on my wish list now that is kind of a replacement for the Chanel 19 bag, but it's the Valentino um roman stud bag i think that's what it's called it's the valentino stud flat bag and um i actually did buy one from fashion file but i've returned it because i didn't love the color it was too bright and the style was also you know kind of more trendy so i just thought i don't really want a bag that has a super trendy color and a super trendy style 
I know the way that I categorize these things are really weird because technically all of my bags are kind of trendy because I only have pink bags but anyways that was just like way too bright for my collection so I actually ended up finding a different Valentino Rockstead bag that is pale pink and at first I was worried that it was going to be too lilac but then I saw it at Neiman Marcus in person and it's literally the most beautiful shade of baby pink it doesn't really have a purple undertone and I love the way that the studs look as well I did have a collaboration with Farfetch recently and I have some leftover credit so I think I might use that leftover credit to buy this bag but I'm not 100% sure yet so let me know what you guys think of this bag is it outdated do you guys like it still um I still personally really like it I like it even more now that I've tried it um from the bag that I got from fashion file so yeah I guess we shall see if I buy that all right so in my video I said that I was not going to put shoes on my wish list which I did at the beginning of the year but now not only do I have a pair of shoes that I bought recently but I do have another one that I'm putting on my wish list so if you watched my Louis Vuitton unboxing video you'll know that I just bought these um Dami Ozer and pink timeout sneakers I absolutely love these they go really well with my um Tahitian print speedy and neverfold that I have back here and yeah I basically told myself that I wasn't gonna buy any more shoes and this happened and these sneakers are so freaking expensive like all the time out sneakers I think are over a thousand dollars but they're worth it in my opinion I wear my other time out sneakers now a lot after I decided to go for it and break them in I seriously go for them reach for them like every time we're going out so yes I did end up buying these and then I also have these Gucci sandals on my wish list um, so I realized that I don't really have that many summer sandals, especially ones that are very like low or flat and I saw these and I absolutely love the color. I actually tried to order it from Farfetch, but then I got a notification like a week later saying they were out of stock. So, um, I guess I will try again, but, um, or I might go directly to the Gucci website. I'm not sure. I haven't gone for something like this before because I really haven't found like the right color and, um, the other Gucci sandals that I think released in previous years were like completely flat. And I do like how this one has a little bit of a heel. It's not too much. With the baby now, I'm not really wearing, you know, super high heels. So I feel like this little, um, small heel is perfect oh my god speaking of gucci there's actually another bag that is on my wish list well i'm not sure if i'm gonna buy it but i have seen it around recently and i do really really love it and that is the gucci diana bag i think that's what it's called it's a little mini tote bag with the bamboo handle and i've seen this but i didn't really like the little thing that wraps around the handle i don't like how it's a different color and I just wasn't sure about the bamboo handle in general. It's on my radar, at least, if not on my wish list. And you guys know that I'm a huge fan of Gucci, but I don't buy it very often because they don't have things that fit my style very often. So when there is like a pink thing that fits my style, I don't know, I just feel like drawn to it, especially now that I've seen it without the little wrap on the handle. Um, I totally can see me wearing it. I love the little bamboo handle maybe for the summer and I'm not trying to spend a ton of money on handbags this year, but I did want to put that on my radar just in case. Um, I'm probably only going to buy one or the other, the um, Valentino bag or the Gucci bag. So let me know in the comment section down below which you think is better. I would love to know your opinion on it so that I maybe can help me decide. So yeah, I think that was it. Oh yeah, I, I think I did have like the Chanel brooch on my wish list as well. And obviously I haven't traveled anywhere. So um, that is still on my wish list. I said in that video, I really wanted to have these like smaller pieces on my wish list so that when I do travel, um, I can, you know, buy these small accessories and although I'm not super happy with Chanel, I do think that I still want one of their brooches. It's not too crazy expensive and it's very iconic looking, so I will still save that for maybe our trip at the end of the year. I also did mention that I want an Hermes baby blanket yeah no <laughs> most of the things that i thought i wanted before having a baby i realize now that they're completely useless or i definitely don't need them so yeah I, although i did say in that video i wanted the blanket to be like a celebration of the baby not exactly like me using it for the baby because it's very expensive but one um from hermes that's in the perfect color never came even though i did ask my essay about it um i just couldn't find like the perfect shade of pink so yeah that is no longer on my wish list i really don't need like a thousand dollar blanket that's crazy 
Oh my gosh. Actually, the more that I talk, the more I'm realizing um, there's other things on my wish list. Because speaking of Hermes, there is this one Hermes sneaker. I know I don't need any more sneakers, but there is this one Hermes sneaker that my mom actually got and it's called like the Kelly sneaker and it's all white. Of course, I'm a sucker for all white sneakers, but then there is like a little strap on it and on this strap, there's like a Kelly lock and the Kelly lock is in rose gold. So I saw this sneaker in store. My mom actually got one and I begged my essay to try to find one for me, but of course I'm a 37, which is like what size every person is. Um, my mom was a size 40, so her size is not so common, but my size 37, I feel like, is just so average that it's very hard to find shoes in that size that aren't sold out yet. So yeah, that is on my wish list as well. And I think I did I have one more Hermes item on my wish list? I've actually been shopping in Hermes a lot more for myself. Um, I have an Hermes unboxing coming up. Sorry, it's taking so long, but I did buy two things for myself. And yeah, every time I go into the store, I just find more things that I like. Um, yeah, I actually can't remember what was on there. Anyways, if I remember, I will let you know in the Hermes unboxing video. But yeah, okay, I think that's it now, for real. <laughs> so let me know what you think of this wish list. Let me know what you think of the purchases that I got so far this year what is on your wish list for this year let me know or let me know like what items you've already bought from your wish list if you did like anything they showed you from this video especially the items that i said that you can buy in farfetch my farfetch code is still active i will leave it on the screen and down below it's only active until um, a certain date so i will leave the expiration date in the description box below as well so please go check that out if you are interested in anything and yeah i think that's it for the video thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to tune in Wednesdays for my weekly vlogs. I'm having a lot of fun with those. Um, it's really been fun kind of um, hanging out with the baby and vlogging our daily lives and everything like that. So if you want to see something else other than luxury, and if you want to know more about me and the baby and my life, I would really appreciate it if you go watch those videos. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!